Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and here's a uh, story about a trash magazine that unfortunately is bashing Ted Cruz, claiming that he's having a bunch of affairs, mistresses, whatever, with uh, women, uh, five and all. Now... Here's one thing that I would hope for. And by the way, it doesn't rate a mental disorder of liberalism update because, uh, before I get started, because the Irrational Inquirer does this to politicians right and left. This is garbage, basically. Savage was calling it garbage last night. I agree with him. National Inquirer is indeed a tabloid. As such, there are very various grains of salt that should be applied when reviewing anything they present. Well, of course. Uh, you got to consider the source here. I don't care whether you're talking about a Democrat or Republican. They should have never done what they did to Gary Hart, either. These sons of bitches actually influence elections, and this is what bothers me. Sorry, I needed a hit of my coffee. Uh, however, it was said they've been unfortunately accurate for more than a few presidential hopefuls. Gary Hart, Jesse Jackson, John Edwards named a few of the more infamous examples. I don't know. I would not... I disagree with conservative treehouse on that. I wouldn't pay any attention to them. Firstly, they post pictures of the collective mistresses. The irrational inquirer would never legally go there if they did not hold a reasonable certainty that all line players were factually part of the story. That's not what I've heard, by the way. Uh, what I've heard about this rag is that uh, they make so much money running a story that they can afford to be sued. In other words, they'll make $25 million and get sued for $20 million. They, or they get sued on a regular basis uh, for saying total nonsense like this. Uh, first... They post pictures of collective mistresses. Secondly, there's at least one face in the group that's easily identifiable. Now, Cruz is not going to sue him because he's in the middle of election year. But, uh, this could get ugly for him. When you accept the... Uh, Irrational Inquirer's editorial legal requirement for research and attributed comment prior to publication, you recognize that there's more of a strong probability each of the outlined group pictured was contacted prior to the publication. One of those is very close to the Donald Trump campaign. Ergo is entirely likely the presidential candidate Donald Trump knew this story was coming out. Another hit of my coffee. Good. Which puts down candidate Trump's prior decision and opinion of media libel and strangely much larger, more substantially prescient aspect, 3D political strategy notwithstanding. The Irrational Inquirer has essentially banned the hook in a typical manner, one, of, one famously utilized by Andrew Breitbart. So now they wait and see how the Cruz campaign responds. Now here's the update on this. Let's see what it says. Then we'll take a look at the Irrational Inquirer. 
since the publication first hit news stands depending on region twitter sphere is led up a conversation about the scandal it appears that many political followers believe they have identified two of the three blurred out images within the national irrational inquiry stories if this these people are on twitter are correct the story is not to be easily dismissed by Ted Cruz presidential campaign. Now, you walk into the supermarket, you see this trash all over. Star, the Globe, the Irrational Enquirer, people. Don't take those seriously. They sure, sure as hell shouldn't be involved in pre- presidential pol- politics. You know, I like Alex Jones because he does actual research on stories he may be a bit over the top at times but he do, he's a good journalist even though he denies being one but this kind of thing you walk in supermarkets you see him pay no attention it's just I hate to have to use this term it's just fodder for I'm not going to do it. Never mind. All right, let's take a look at the uh, Irrational Enquirer story now. Okay, uh, here's the page. There's really no information on it. I guess you have to go to the print edition. I wouldn't spend money on it. Those guys are puffing Matt or starring a wood stove, for instance. The things that uh, paper is useful, useful for. Other than that, I wouldn't give two cents for the paper this uh, rag is printed on. I sure as hell I'm not going to go spending money on it. Not on that, star, people... Globe, Weekly World News, that one's worse. Weekly World News, that's the onion in print, basically. I wouldn't spend a dime on any of them, to be honest with you. I look at stories and I was trying to, you know, Jennifer Aniston, I was trying to get her a new kid some way, one way or another. Every week it's something else. Kind of reminds me in a way of the uh, claims on YouTube about the end of the world. You, the world ends about every other day on YouTube, just right on, right as clockwork. Uh, the world's still here and still full of problems, like it's always been. Oh well. This is tabloid trash and not to be taken seriously. Please do not allow this nonsense to affect your uh, voting decision come November or in the primaries. Don't allow it to affect it one bit. Pay no attention anymore and you would uh, pay attention to the droppings of animals in, in your local farm. That's about all this is worth. At least those droppings can be used to fertilize a uh, garden, if nothing else. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.